Hey everybody, Hooker TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license, no shot on his 21st birthday, uh, no rental, he ain't rented nothing, he ain't nothing. So everything that we do and it's easy to us, his kids is never gonna see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Hey everybody, Booker TV X, I'm set. Oh, uh, let's see here, man. Never surprised, right? Six-year-old boy, or nine, no, nine-year-old, sorry. Nine-year-old boy goes to a black girl's house with a with a buck whip in his hand banging the door telling her to come out with a whip in his hand y'all a whip nine years old saying he wants to beat this black girl with his whip. First of all, where would this little nigga get a whip? First of all, as much as I heard about the whip, I, ain't never, I haven't seen a whip. Now it's on like the Balenciaga or some shit. Point intended. But what is in this child mind that make him walk his happy white privileged ass up to the door of this black family with a fucking whip in his hand like he got damn Willie Lynch himself demanding to see this nigga child lord have mercy Lord, have mercy. I'm begging to see this nigga child. Where is he learning it? Bingo. Like, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-goddamn brainer. We know where the fuck he learned it. What gives him the balls and courage to see if that was me? I snatched his little ass inside with the whip. I felt threatened. So I'm protecting my life. I'm protecting my goddamn life. That's what they said. They said you could defend your life if you threatened. I would have snatched his little ass in there with that goddamn whip. It would have been bad. It would have been. It would have been bad, man. It would have been hell of a bad man. I was saying, I was saying, now you save this. You send this to your daddy. 
Look, tell you, tell your daddy, look at your back. Tell him, tell him, look at your back. Say, daddy, look what happened to my back. Shit, crazy, man. These motherfuckers are just, 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 just giving them too much goddamn power. Can't do shit. People think, oh, I can't do nothing. No, no, fuck all that. Fuck all that, man. You got balls to come here with a goddamn whip in your hand and bang it on the goddamn door? Yeah. You gonna get that same goddamn energy, little nigga. Same shit. Grab your little ass, throw your little ass in the house and get the beat in your ass. Nigga, send you home to your dad. Tell him, come over here, get it next. Tell him, come on over here, he'll get it next. Shit, cut off the head. Shit. Ain't no way a nine-year-old child should be goddamn doing shit like that, man. And feel that he could do that. This shit's getting too soft out here. Getting way too soft. When it comes to us, they give you a second chance. It's, oh, yeah, well, I'm sorry, man. Uh, you know. It didn't mean to happen like that. Give you a second chance. You know what I'm saying? But if we do something, nigga, we crucify it. We a Rico. We do some shit, we a Rico. Shit don't make no damn sense, man. Shit don't make no damn sense, man. What would y'all, what would y'all, okay. What would y'all would have did? Then that, that picture. You at home with your daughter. Trying to fix a snack, going over what happened at school, and you hear a big beating at the door like the police. You go to your ring camera and see that there's a little white kid with a whip in his hand yelling for your daughter to come out. Yelling for your daughter to come out. You know what that reminds me of? Emmett Till. Emmett Till came to his house, snatched him out his bed, and he was never seen again until they got him out that river. That's what I that, that's what I take from that. Now now if it's somebody doing something like that towards the Jewish, they would have had a whole army. It would have been some type of cause going on right now for him. White people can't come here with whips. It would have been a cause. But since it was us, oh, we can handle it. We've been through it so long in our life. We can handle it. Now we used to it. No, we're not used to it. No, we not. We used to y'all talking about it nonchalant. Yeah, that's what we used to. But being used to some shit like that, fuck no. Fuck no. Got this little white motherfucking Ku Klux playing and training coming here. Got that with a whip in his guy. Boy, he was a boy. Look at here. Look at here, man. Look at here. Ain't no way. Sound just like Emmett. What would y'all do, man? Is what I want to know. Please tell me what y'all would have did. Your little angel come home. Not even really got her backpack off already. And you got this little nine-year-old demon at your goddamn door with a whip in his hand yelling for your daughter to come out. Oh. I'll lose it. I'll lose my goddamn mind, man. I know I would. I'll lose it, man. Won't be no holding back, man. I'll just be, hey, man, I apologize at the end for killing him. But shit, I was I was mentally insane. I couldn't believe I was mentally insane. I had a flashback. I watched Roots last week, and then I finished it up with uh, Emmett Till's story. So I, I I lost my shit. Crime of passion. Yeah, Your Honor, it was a goddamn crime of passion. I mean, I meant everything I did. I'm not saying that. I meant everything I did, but I blacked out. I couldn't hold it in. I didn't even know where I was at when I came out of came to. All I know is I seen a little dead white boy. I, I, I don't know what the hell happened to him. I seen the blood on my hand, and I kind of put two and two together. 
That's all I can know. That's all. So I'll throw myself on the mercy of the court uh, and my insanity plea. What would y'all do? Common sense. Civilized, that's the word. Because they're civilized. You, you from the jungle, not me. <laughs> they think we're primitive. The reason, and some of them, some of them said, when they gonna give us some money? These white folks ain't gonna never give you niggas no money. Would you give your cow some money? <laughs> you own your goddamn cow. You ain't giving your cow no money. They owned us. They will never, ever give up. They'll give everybody else everything. They'll talk it. They'll talk a good talk. They'll all, Obama, everybody will talk it. But they will never, never give us no money. They think they did us a favor by taking us from the jungle. I helped you. You were eating each other until I found you. And we so 